Uh, good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. It's a uh, kind of a little bit chilly out here. Uh, I think this morning it was zero, and the high today it hit 16. And now we're toward evening. We just gave the cows a strip of stockpile, and uh, because we're just giving them a little bitty strip of stockpile, we gave them some hay. And uh, the boys are down there on the second bale. So they're getting two 338 head. They're getting uh, two 1,200 pound bales plus a little strip of stockpile. Um, you can see this is the stockpile that we gave them this morning. And uh, the cattle are still eating it. There's just a little bit of green left in there. That bull's kind of enjoying what he's eating on. One of the things that we started doing, it got down to like, oh, it was brutal this morning. Talked about frostbite city. You had to have your face covered. Your face just froze. But uh, these things here are just lifesavers. These are made by Grabber. They're a hand warmer. You just put them in your mittens. My left hand, of course, doesn't have one on it. I'm just holding it my right. Uh, they work awesome. I put one of my boots on my toes, my big toe. I used, when I was younger, I had my feet frostbit so many times, it's crazy. And so I have a hard time keeping them warm. But anyway, I'm going to show you what Isaac's doing down there. Ben, Ben, uh, Connor and David are spreading out a little bit of the pitchfork. But see how he's going in a circle? That was Isaac's idea last night to spread the hay in a circle when it's really cold like this. And you can see, I mean, there's just a whole circle of cattle here chowing down on that hay. Look at him. Well, I mean, he is flying. He's putting down some hay now. Gotta switch off fingers. This one's getting numb. When you put it in a circle like that, your cows get to use each other's body to keep warm. They make it just a big round circle of cattle. It breaks the wind. They can use each other's body heat. They can sit there and chow down, get their dinner, and they're all staying warm. Look at that. That's the circle I made a while ago. And then I, I moved on down the ridge and had Isaac do the second one. But, I mean, that bale, he's went around. He's going around, I don't know how many times? One, two, three, four. I think he's on his fifth round. Okay, now he's gonna just stair step it back and forth. Because what happened was he, he got into that fresh stockpile and we don't unroll hay in fresh stockpile. You know what? You don't wanna, you don't wanna be covering up good grass that hadn't been grazed yet. This strip we gave him the nice probably uh, 100 feet wide by 800 feet long. It's not very big. Now that it's uh, the ground's frozen well, we keep our uh, mineral feeder out here on top of the hills, away from the water. That thing is a magnet. It draws a lot of livestock to it. Look at these cows. <laughs> like, oh, Isaac's rolling out some new. We're gonna go down and check that out. The cattle all look good, they're, they're not hungry. You know, you can tell we're, we're not limiting any of them. They've all got really good hair coats. They're just packing in really nice condition from their head all the way back to their butt. They just, you know, you can tell by looking at cattle that, that, that they do well. You know, they're fluffy, super good hair coats. There's no mud froze on their legs or on their sides. They're not laying, not being forced to lay in their, species or anything like that. I was gonna walk you over and show you um, our water system. See how well the water's holding out. So this will be our second full day 
of our, our winter water. See how our siphon's holding up. Came out here this morning, there was an ice cube. It wasn't an ice cube, it was an icicle. It was about three foot long, but it, it wasn't touching the hose. It, it formed at the ground and it's working its way up kind of like a volcano almost, <laughs> or a mountain, not like a volcano, a mountain. And uh, I took my foot and broke it over. There's actually about four of them. See, this is the paddock that we took the wire up. Right here used to be the old fence line, right, right here. There was a single wire on this birdhouse line. All the way, there's another birdhouse up yonder. Um, I just love having this fence gone. Because now we can unroll hay across it, we can change up our grazing patterns. Uh, we're not gonna be back here till April. We're putting down just tons and tons of fertilizer coming through the cow and all this carbon that we're rolling out on the ground. Oh, I see water. Boy, this morning I came over here, I couldn't see the end of my hose. And I'm like, oh no. The hose lost its siphon. And if it had, we would have had a mess. But guess what? It's still gone. Still gone. There it is. Yep, beautiful. You don't want that thing getting close to any fence or any brush because if it does and it forms an ice cube and start or an ice cube a icicle and it works its way up there and touches that hose you're done because that water will start backing up inside that hose freezing and as long as there's not an icicle or any brush or a tree around that coming out you're good to go. But if it touches it, it, it can start backing that ice up into that hose. And you're pretty much done. See, this is all being fed from pressurized water. This is the same water we're drinking in our house. This is what we call county water coming out of that hydrant. It cannot freeze. And it got down, I think windshield this morning, the news said it was 13 below zero. And uh, it didn't freeze. Isn't that awesome? There's my clevis. My clevis is tied to the uh, siphon to keep the cows from ripping that out of there. And then they do have uh, 5,000 volts right there on that wire, keeping the cows from walking on this. You don't want them walking on your hose. They will break it, especially in this cold weather. My hand's about froze. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Um, I gotta get my hands warm. It's, it's, it's nippy out here. But anyway, we're gonna see you all down the road next time. Uh, hit that subscribe button on the way out. And uh, everyone have a great, great day. And uh, we'll see you next time.